Hey guys, I'm Shereen with Sweet Meats. Today I'm making cauliflower au gratin. So I have three different types of cauliflower, which makes this dish really beautiful. So I have regular white cauliflower, I have green cauliflower, which sometimes they call it Brocco flour in the grocery store, and then I have purple cauliflower. So the purple gets the purple color from the antioxidant, same, an same antioxidant as red wine. All I'm going to do is just remove all of my florets them on my sheet tray, drizzle them with a little bit of canola oil, salt and pepper, and roast them. And I'm only going to cook them halfway because when we mix the bechamel in with the cauliflower and then finish them as an au gratin, they're going to continue cooking then. So now I'm going to pop them into the oven 400 degrees until they're tender crisp, about 15-20 minutes. All right, so now for the bechamel. I'm gonna melt a little bit of butter and flour, so equal parts flour and butter. When you're making a roux, the consistency that you're looking for is wet sand. It should actually look like wet sand, see that? So now I'm just going to cook this out for just, just about a minute so it doesn't have a flour flavor. I like to use room temperature milk or warm milk. You never want to add cold milk because it'll seize up. So you just slowly whisk in the milk. So we're going to bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer until all the flavors come together and it becomes super creamy. A little salt and white pepper. So white pepper because you don't want to see the black speckles. It's a white sauce, we want to keep it white. A little bit of fresh lemon zest. Just gives it a nice bright note. So while the bechamel is cooking, I'm going to grate some Gruyere. So I freshly grated some Gruyere. So it's better to freshly grate your own Gruyere than buying it already grated. It really makes such a huge difference. Look at that. Perfect. That's exactly what you want. So I'm going to add half of my Gruyere. I'm going to cut the heat. And then just fold it together until it's all melted. So the bechamel is nice and creamy. Let's go check on the cauliflower. It's perfect. Look how beautiful. All these gorgeous colors. So I have my cauliflower roasted, ready to go, and now I'm just going to pour some of the bechamel. So because I added cheese to the bechamel, it's now considered a Mornay. So I'm going to pour the Mornay sauce right over top. The remaining Gruyere right on top. And then I like to top it with breadcrumbs. So I have some melted butter. And then I just take the melted butter and just toss it. And then top the cauliflower au gratin. So this gives it a nice crunchy texture. So it's hot and bubbly and golden brown on top. These are great. My son Costas loves cauliflower. He's going to love this side dish. For more of my fresh and easy recipes, visit my website at tweetmeats.com. That's perfect. I love the lemon in the bechamel. So good.